Hello, welcome back to another video. Now this time, I've got Martin with me again, and we've brought him over into Nottinghamshire, and we're at the site of Fledborough Station, shut since 1955, on the long disused Lancashire Derbyshire East Coast Railway between Lincoln and over that way towards Chesterfield. So this is another part of the line which I recently went and explored at Spinkill Tunnel over towards Chesterfield. So now we've come to the other end of the line, and we're about half a mile away from Fledborough Viaduct and to see what beauty it holds on this line. So now on the opposite platform, we've just jumped over to the other side. Now looking over this way, that was the site of the High Marnham Power Station. Closed in 2003. There's one of the old access roads. What we're going to do now is jump back down onto the old track bed and follow the line as it was towards Fledborough Viaduct. So I'll see you down there. On this overhead image from Google Maps, you can still see the power station in situ at the centre of the screen. The cooling towers have long gone. They went a few years ago. On this left hand side, you can see the reception sidings for the power station and the site of the Fledborough station and on the right hand side, the River Trent and Fledborough Viaduct. So here we have a fine image of Fledborough Station when open. It looks like it dates from the mid 940s and you can just see a working steaming towards the overbridge with the station building on the right hand side. In this aerial view, it's dated from the 1950s and this is when construction of High Marnham Power Station was just about to begin. On the left hand side, you can still see the station sides and the station building and on the lower left hand side again, the line being constructed to serve High Marnham Power Station and the sidings. Here we have a view of High Marnham Power Station midway through construction. We've got one of the huge buildings on the left hand side with a crane lower left and on the right hand side a shiny new completed calling tower. Many thanks go to Chris Booth for this image. It's a fantastic aerial shot of High Marnham Power Station shortly after being commissioned. Absolutely stunning. And atop one of the buildings under construction, if you look to the upper left hand side, you can see the length and might of Fledborough Viaduct in the distance, crossing the River Trent in the centre of the picture. It's hard to imagine steam workings working out of the power station and into the power station, but on this occasion, and in many occasions, in 1963, 280 Loco 90003 departs High Marnham, with a rake of empties heading towards the Mansfield concentration siding. And in the dying days of steam with roughly a year to go, 92200 is at High Marnham in September 1965 in full colour. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Chris, for these images. A decade or so later, we can see the full extent and how long these sidings actually were. And looking back from the site of Fledborough Station, you can see the line on the right hand side goes off towards the power station and the line to the left of the signal box that goes on towards Flebra Station and Flebra Viaduct. And notice the line on the left appears to be out of use, so it's clearly been turned into a single track use at this point, with the line on the right going straight into the power station complex. This is 56007, jumping forward a little way to May 1979, and this is a beautiful image by John Tomlinson showing the train about to leave with empty wagons. And the final working to come out of High Marnham Power Station was 66086 on the 28th of October 2003. So construction started on High Modern Power Station back in 1955 and it was commissioned in 1962. It closed in 2003 but at the time it was part of what's known as Megawatt Valley. And over in the distance over there we've got West Burton Power Station and also Cotton Power Station. Now a lot of the buildings were demolished shortly after closure in 2004 and the cooling towers themselves they were, they were pulled down in 2012. Now it's just a barren wasteland waiting for whatever happens next to it being taken over by nature.
So we're just approaching Fladborough Viaduct, which is ahead there. Now we've got this little signal. Now this signal does not look as if it, it belongs here, as if it's from maybe the southern region. Um, with it pointing down, if anyone wishes to confirm that that is not a genuine article from this location, um, we'll leave that behind. Now there's a sign for the viaduct number, or the bridge number. So let's get on this double track viaduct and see what it's like for ourselves. It is a double track viaduct and it comprises 59 brick built arches. Now during construction there was 9 million of these bricks. These brick arches were either side of metal spans which cross River Trent as you can see there. Now the viaduct itself was opened in 1897 and sadly its demise came in 1980 due to the derailment further down the line. The line itself was deemed unviable for repair where the uh, derailment happened. So unfortunately the line was consigned to history, but thankfully we still get the bind up today as it is. Looked after by the charity of Sustrans into a nice cycle path and footway for all to enjoy. from Fleck Revival, so we've had a cracking day, it's been the hottest day of the year, we've still got more hot weather to come but from now we've had enough, thanks to Martin for coming down, thanks to Charlie for coming down, I hope you enjoy yourself and you'll come back again soon. Yeah. We're laughing because um, Anne's just overtaken it was um, atrocious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to take a little moment for that. Hey! Yeah. Who says you can't do it? <laughs> and uh, next time, join me, David Edinburgh, on more adventures in the wild with these two rather old chaps. Thank you for watching. Who is he? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>